what is going on, people? My Facebook page got hacked um, some time ago. And essentially what I have to do is send in a picture of my government ID to Facebook. I've done that four times. I've not heard from them. And this is where I'm kind of going with that. I don't think I'm going to have a Facebook page. Uh, someone hacked it. Um, it, it w what's funny is I had three-party identification on it, and somehow they got around that, but I cannot get around that to log back into the Facebook page. And I am just kind of sick and tired of messing with it. But I've noticed that my social media stress has gone way, way down. I'm not getting into Facebook arguments. I'm not having certain posts. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. I'm just leave it the way it is. I just won't have a Facebook page. Um, because of the trials and tribulations of trying to get it back. Which kind of leads me off into another area. I have been getting a lot of requests for mentorship, internships, people who want to work with me, and I'm about to tell you why I don't want you to work for me in that regard. Essentially, you are just hanging around to soak up some knowledge. That's it. And as soon as you get whatever knowledge you're looking for, you're going to bounce. Which means that if I had a requirement and coming up, I'm going to have requirements. I'm not going to hire anyone who wants to kind of just hang around and soak up the knowledge, then bounce when I have a real job. So real job will probably be someone that's never even heard of me because I understand in the social media world that many people are looking for mentors. They're looking for people to help them out. They're looking for people to reduce the learning curve. My mentorship stops at YouTube. I'll put information out, I'll put my thoughts, I'll put some opinions, I'll put that out on YouTube. And that's where the mentorship stops. I will not, I actually changed the phone number because I was getting so many phone calls and, you know, I was sitting there like, what is going on? What, why is everyone looking for a mentor and all this other stuff? And also, if I create a training program and you participate and you pay me, that's 100% different because I am being compensated for my time. I am being remunerated for my wisdom. With a mentorship, that's kind of like a pimp game to me. For To me, it's kind of, you know, pimping ain't dead. They just scared. I, that's that's kind of how I look at it because... Um, I would like to be helpful, but I don't want to be helpful at my own expense. Now, what do I mean by that? If I went ahead and said, look, I got 10 intern spots here. Come work for me. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get the real you. I'm not going to get the special you. I'm not going to get the exceptional you. I'm going to get the real you. I'm going to get who you are. And with that, I'm going to get all of your bad habits. I'm going to get your attitudes. And I'm going to get what I believe to be a subpar experience. And this, this is why I don't do it. You know, if you're working for me as an employee, you will be paid fairly, in my opinion, well. And that's how we're going to do it. There will be no internships. There will not be any um, training or let's go to dinner. I mean, you, uh, you see you see how I live. I'll be buying $100 dinners, 
we go on a date, spend 300 bucks for the date. That's how I live it. So, you know, let me take you to lunch and pick your brain. Ain't exciting to me. It's just like, uh, I rather really stay home and watch Netflix. Honestly. And also, a lot of you don't have, and I'm trying to be decent. I'm trying to, a lot of your ideals don't excite me. Let me just put it that way. You know, you've got this ideal, this thing you want to do. Um, you may want to do real estate. Cool, do real estate. Knock yourself out. Um, that that doesn't excite me. Uh, I don't want to um, be even part of that because it's kind of boring. It's kind of boring. I mean, that's your ideal. That's your passion. I'm not trying to piss on your dream, but it's like... I don't want to do it. I don't want to talk about it. I, I just don't want to do it. So, the lesson here is I'm all about that freedom lifestyle, right? I'm all about making moves. And I I live life on my terms. Like this morning, I got up at 8.30. I got up when I wanted to get up. I didn't get up because I had to get up. Got up at 8.30. Uh, got some stuff doing holiday weekend probably going to hang out with some friends do a few events and that's going to be my weekend and essentially I'm going to put together a mindset program because this is the area that I feel has the greatest deficiency many of you are watching these social media people in thinking that you can start X to the Y to the Z hustle and quit your job in four months. I don't think that's going to work out. And if you have a mindset that feels that, hey, I can do this new thing, like uh, I spent some time on bigger pockets watching all of these people get all of this real estate really quickly and there's one thing they all have in common the l world the l word leverage they are leveraged this is one guy 50 million dollars in real estate but it only cash flows at a million and i'm just sitting there like i understand that you're getting a million dollars a year cash to put in your pocket and i understand that you don't care that everyone else is holding the bag. And this is where people are. What I can do to get to where I want to be as fast as possible, regardless of the long range implications, long range. I did a video the other day, the real estate market's not going to crash. So a lot of real estate investors are in pretty solid position because it's not going to crash. Um, but I'm just saying, for me, I'll give you an example. I've got $118,000 in play plus $6,500 in repairs. Guess what's going to happen this month? I'm going to get $6,500 back from Hire Car, which is going to absolve those repairs and start moving us toward. Because here's the thing if I buy more cars, I'm going to be consistently increasing my debt load so well i would not debt that's the wrong word cost basis the cost basis the cost basis was one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars for these vehicles and if i buy more vehicles my cost basis goes up and i move further and further away from profitability which is cool because I, I have no intentions of taking any money out of this business for a year, or a year or so. So that, that's where I plan on doing. And one of the things that, like a mentorship or a internship, I, like I said, I'm just not really interested in you guys working for me. I'm just not because essentially, I have things that need to be done and you have an agenda, which is cool. I think everyone should have an agenda. 
you should have an agenda to make your life the best way, best you can. That's your agenda. I have no problem with that. I don't want to be part of your agenda, though. That That's the issue. I don't want to be part of your agenda. I don't want to um, participate in your agenda on any level. And this is mostly the freedom lifestyle, though, because I've been doing what I wanted to do each day with my life for the last 24 years. Last 24 years. I've been waking up and doing whatever I wanted to do. And that is my norm. It's a, I've been doing it six more years, three decades. We're moving toward three, year, three decades of me waking up and doing whatever I want to do. And I, I get the appeal to that. I get the um, why so many people want that. But let's have this conversation. Do you want to pay the price to get here? This is where this all starts to fall apart and deteriorate. People want the lifestyle. They want the money. They want the freedom. But when it comes to paying the price, and let's talk about what the price is. For many, many years, I worked 12, 16 hours a day. For many, many years. Not a month, not a few weeks, years. 12 to 16 hours a day, five to six days a week, some days, some weeks, seven. Gladly did it. I paid the price. I paid the price in blood, sweat, equity, I paid the price. And this is why I get to live like this right now. I don't, I mean, I'm be, I'm be honest with you, I don't work that hard. Nothing I do is physically taxing in any regard. In any regard. Nothing I do is hard, draining, and at any moment, I can say, eh, you know what? I don't feel like doing nothing today. I'm going to take the day off. I can do that whenever I want to. And I, th during this break, I was like, hey, you know, uh, I'm about to chill out on this video. So I'm about to take me a little breaky break. I didn't have to ask nobody, hey, can I have permission to take off time? I don't have to ask nobody anything. So getting here is doable. But are you willing to pay the price? And this goes back to the internship. Uh, I know many of you are looking for a shortcut. You're looking to reduce your learning curve. I totally get that. But for someone to serve me, I, I need someone who isn't looking to depart. And as this, because. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you what I see happening with this car business. Because if I had placed all of the vehicles on hire car, I would have had a $10,000 a month. Now, what does that mean? If I had the appropriate information, which I did not, I did not have the appropriate information. Now I have the appropriate information. I would have had a $10,000 a month on hire car from a business that I started in April. So I would have made $10,000 my first month from a business that literally from the taking of the pictures of the cars to posting the cars on the website to having discussion with the renters. I have I may have worked 4 hours this month. That's everything, including putting the cars on the website. Uh talking to the renters, talking to hire car, I may have put in four hours this month to make 10,000. So if we were to go, uh, I was making 2,500 bucks an hour with this car rental business. And as I add and increase the fleet, it's just going to go up. And that's fits my lifestyle. I'm not trying to do a, you know, like trucking. You will never catch me in a truck. You will never catch me owning a truck. 
trucking is high high cost moderate margin now someone that put in the comments that hey you make more money with trucking I, I don't think so uh, there was a young one, one young man he makes twenty thousand dollars a month after expenses I think he's been trucking seven years okay August I'll be making that and I'll be working because this trucker he's working 60 70 hours a week I'll be working so let's go ahead and say um, 120 he works 240 hours a month so he'll be working 240 hours a month he will be on the road he will not be sleeping in his bed and by August, I'll be making the same money or more working 95% less. That's why, you know, like, I don't want to own a truck. And I'm not saying, you know, if you want to own a truck, trucking works for you. Trucking helps you meet your goals. Knock yourself out. But I am not messing with trucking. I'm not messing with it. I don't. For me, you know, and this this is a personality thing. I don't like it as a business model. Just for me, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, there's this guy, not your average trucker. I catch him out, and you know, even though he owns the trucking company, I think he has 10, 12 trucks. He'll still be driving the truck on the weekend or uh, some other stuff, and that's just something I don't even want to even contemplate. I don't even want to contemplate. I don't even want to think about it. So not doing trucking not doing any of these um, what I would consider physically taxing business or like high cost because you know I'm operating from a cash position so I'm not I'm not messing with trucking um, now this may happen in the future I may go out and buy some box trucks and rent them out. I'm just kind of waiting to see what's happening because a lot of people are trying to do Amazon Relay and they're hopping in these rentals and the Amazon Relay work has dried up and I'm just sitting there like, eh, I don't know. So I, I got to do some more research because right now I'm just going to stick to cars and SUVs and things like that. I will not be... Um, know that that may be once I get to six figures in rental income I may explore buying a truck and renting out the trucks don't know don't know yet don't know but essentially the kind of businesses that I'm going to set up are going to be like hire car I mean to work four hours a month and make ten thousand dollars that works for me. And all I see is it getting better and better in the future because I don't I don't want to get in these heavily, like essentially writing that first book um, changed me. I became the manufacturer of my product that I sold. I became the factory was a game changer so uh, honestly if you would know how I was thinking after that paradigm shift you'd be surprised I'm actually in the car business where I actually had to spend money on physical products to actually make money uh, honestly I kind of got bored I kind of got bored so I wanted a new challenge and this this is a good challenge for me but essentially I'm getting ready to revamp everything once again revamp everything redo the training and get my hands a little dirtier and also because like i got a lot of people who want to talk on the phone and they they don't want to pay no money and that's cool it's your money keep your money and if you don't want to pay me no money that's fine but let me be 100 percent unvarnished with you I ain't going up. I'm not going to get on the phone and yak with you about your business ideal for free. 
I, I'm just like, once again, what did I tell you? I woke up at 8.30 this morning. I'm probably going to stop working around 4 today. If you can call what I do work. Um, it'll probably be do a little research or something like that. Um, I, I'm just going to kind of like kick back a little bit. I'm just doing this video because like today I got four phone calls for internship, mentorship, and it's just something I don't want to do. I just don't want to do it because one, I am a capitalist and that makes me no money. It makes me no money. If I had a large corporation and I had someone else to run the intern position and people could come in and actually do real work and I had nothing to do with it, okay, I'd be open to it. But uh, essentially, probably in the next year, we're gonna grow probably five employees, five more employees across various things. But like I said, I'm getting ready to do some stuff totally different. I'm getting ready to uh, make some changes. I'm getting ready to get into, you know, because essentially me starting this car rental business exposed me to things that you guys will be exposed to that I wasn't being, the, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to keep it a G. My life was, it's so cushy. It's so cushy. Um, and I'm not bragging, I'm just stating. It, it's so cushy that I was able to let $150,000 stack up in my personal checking account because I wasn't spending the money. That's how cushy my life was. And I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to stop showing receipts. I'm going to stop going into stuff because um, I understand life can be hard. I understand that. What I don't understand is when someone shows you a receipt that you get pissed off. I've had a lot of people be pissed off. Pissed off. Pissed off. Upset. Talking about why do you, you know, why you know, why do you say you're more successful than this person? You need to come off of that. And I'm just sitting there like, really? Really? So no more receipts. But we're going to get to more bona fide business development content. Um, we're going to, to move it into a different way because I got some concepts, some ideals, some things I'm thinking about putting out. And if you're in the corporate toolbox or the art of holding, you're going to get that. You don't have to worry about signing up or anything like that. Uh, like I said, I'm getting ready to do this thing a little differently because... I now have a new experience. I know what it's like to start a business with $150,000 in the bank. This is the first business that I've actually started with cash. Yeah, I know. This is the very first business that I actually started with cash. Well, actually that's not true. I started the storage auction business but I did not spend what I spent. I did not spend over, I, didn't, I spent like probably $30,000 $30, on a bunch of garbage units. But this is the first business that I've spent six figures to get started. And it's a unique and different experience for me. It is a different, you know, it's different education because there's some of you out there who have six figures in the bank and you're looking to start a business. And there's no information out there for you. All you see is hustle content, how to start a business. <clears throat> okay. Camera got hot and it turned off. So I'm now I'm back. <clears throat> so essentially, I'm just saying, I don't really want you guys to work for me because you would be coming in with an agenda, which is hella fine annoying. I mean, one of the things is, and you'll find this out when you become an entrepreneur and you start hiring people, 
hiring people is hard. So you go out, you put up an ad on Indeed or Craigslist or wherever, and then someone answers the ad, you interview them, they tell you their story, you tell them your story, kind of meet in the middle, you hire this person, and typically you don't know what you have until after 90 days. You Because 90 days is going to give you the data points of who this person is, their work ethic, their ability to show up on time, their ability to get things done. 90 days is, you know, first, first two weeks, first three weeks are going to be fantastic. It's like dating. When you date someone, the first few weeks are great. And then once they get comfortable and that real person starts sliding out, then you start really seeing what you work. You start, you really start to see what you're working with. So essentially, I'm going to redesign the training. I'm going to um, really work on doing some stuff a little differently. But there is no, I changed that number because I mean, I was getting like literally, I was getting all these phone numbers, phone calls. I'm just sitting there like, mm, we're going to change that number because it's something I don't really want to do. I, I don't want to be, um, I don't know who, I don't even know. I don't even know who does this stuff. I don't want to just be sitting around having a bunch of people who are trying to learn from me on an intimate level so they can bounce. That 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 doesn't work for me. So uh, the paid training, now that's where you need to be in because um, the whole mentorship, trying to get in a low cost, you know, and one of the things is, one of the reasons I won't even consider it is I already know with today's people that I'm going to have someone who's going to want to work for me for free, but they're going to want to work like some weird hours. And like I said, I, I have a very flexible schedule and I get irritated because like I said, true story. I was getting kind of pissed off because essentially with the rental car business, I had to set the hours because I had people literally trying to pick up cars at 10 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. And I should have known that was going to turn into something bad. <laughs> Which it did. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand, you know, with the rental car business, and I'm putting language in, you can pick up your car between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. I, you know, uh, I had to do some stuff this weekend because of the way that I put it up, but once again, I'm still learning this business, but I understand that if I put up that you can pick up this car anytime you want to, I will have people trying to pick up a car at 12 p.m. at night or 12 a.m. I would have that. So I got to work on my messaging. And here, here's another reason I don't want to be a mentor. I'm getting kind of cranky in my old age. Well, not cranky, but I don't really, I don't like things I don't like. Let's just say that. So I don't want to like having employees and all this other stuff was an adjustment because it dug into my time. So I'm very aware of who I am and I'm very much aware of time. And I don't want to be sitting in where I got to sit down and have a conversation with someone when I don't really want to have a conversation with somebody. One of the reasons I do what I do and the reason I do it the way is freedom. I don't want to be in situations where I am obligated to do X, Y, Z for someone who's working for me for free. I, I don't really want that. I don't want that at all. So, you know, it's nothing personal. It's just 
who I am as a person, how I like to get down, how I like, because, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, I'm trying to get some entrepreneurs on here, and it's mostly me, because I'm just not following up, but I want to get to more passive or semi, you know, semi-passive. Like, uh, my business is semi-passive, which is why it doesn't require a lot of effort. Um, but, once again, it took me a lot of work to get here. And that's where many of you will fail. You want to get here, but you don't miss me with all that work. And, you know, I, I put up a video asking people what it is with these jobs, because... I don't know what this is, this this whole I don't want to do work agenda of people. I don't I don't know where it comes from. So I'm gonna be doing more videos asking for clarification, like what are you going through? Because I've not had a job 24 years. I've not had a job in 24 years. So in the last jobs I had weren't really they weren't I had full autumn. I, I come and go as I please. If I wanted to take two weeks off, I, I didn't have to ask nobody. Um, so they were really prepping me for business ownership. But yeah, I just can't um, get down with that whole premise of being a mentor and teaching. And it, it, it just doesn't work for me, man. It just doesn't work for me. Because, uh, like I said, the mentorship, <clears throat> it stops here on YouTube. This, this is where I did it. <clears throat> Gotta be careful with this thing. Fun little story. One day I was driving, and I just punched it. The wheel started spinning on the back that the car skidded to the left and the right. I punched it and the car went vroom, 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 vroom. just I was like what the hell's going on it's a lot of power and that was before I had it enhanced before so I'm not renting this out because if someone gets behind the wheel of this and they don't know what they have they can they can easily wreck easily because um that day, I was like, what is going on? And the, the wheels were like, rrr, 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 rrr. And I was like, what's going on? What is going on? What's going on? You know, it was crazy. But yeah, that's it for the mentor stuff. So I'm about to go do some work, work on some businesses. And uh, I will talk to you guys later.